Hello YouTube friends, my name is Noemi and today I wanted to share with you a message um, inspired by what today, today is Good Friday and uh, I wanted to speak today about when Jesus was praying in the Garden of Gethsemane and um, and when he's there he's experiencing sadness, uh, he's in experiencing pain He's, he's going through a rough time. He came to this earth knowing his purpose. He always knew that he was gonna, going to be sacrificed for each and every one of us. But when he was about to face what was going to be not only his biggest challenge, but also his biggest victory, he was scared. And sometimes we we go through things in life. We... we um, we go through things that are scary. Uh, a few years ago, I was diagnosed with stage four kidney failure. And a few months ago, um, I hadn't been treated for, for a while. And I go back to the hospital and they tell me that my condition has become worse. And those are scary times. I remember when I was told, you have kidney failure. I felt like my world was was about to turn upside down. It was it wasn't good news. I can imagine what you might be going through. Maybe it's cancer. Maybe it's diabetes. Maybe your husband left you. Maybe your wife left you. Maybe your children are doing drugs. And and when you're in the middle of going through something, as Jesus was, he asked what was human, what was normal. Um, he said, if it's Lord, if, if it's okay, for, you know, that this cup pass by, you know, that I don't have to drink this cup, you know. And sometimes that's the way we get with God and we get discouraged. And, and um, what I want to tell you today is that Jesus understands. And we've heard it before, but he does understand. You know, many of times we don't really... I guess really um, value the the sacrifice. Yeah, we know he died on the cross, and and you know he died for our sins, but it was a sacrifice. Um, I love I love what it what it what it says there when he was there at the garden, where he lets us know that it was a sacrifice because um, he was scared. He he didn't if. If there was another route at that moment, he was asking, let's go the other route. And sometimes in the middle of our problems, in the middle of our illness, we're telling God, hey, God, you know, just let this moment pass. Why do I have to live it? And um, Jesus understands because he is God, but he was also flesh. And, and if he was punched, it was going to hurt him. And if he was spit upon, you know, he was going to feel the shame and the embarrassment. He was going to feel the hurt, you know, and um, and he, he felt that. So just know that Jesus understands, you know, just, just because you're going through that hard period or that hard moment and, and you say, well, maybe my faith is lacking maybe I'm not being as faithful to God maybe I'm messing up somewhere here because how come this problem came and I feel defeated I feel like I just can't go on and you feel well maybe I'm just not a good Christian maybe maybe everybody else has it right and I have it wrong I'm doing something wrong I'm here to tell you you're not doing anything wrong I'm here to tell you that if you feel you're discouraged or you feel you feel sad or because you're going through something that's normal but we also got to see what Jesus did he he put his face down on the ground and he was praying for strength he was asking he was asking God to let the moment pass but he was also asking for strength he was saying God if it's your will if it is your will I will I will pass this and that's what we got to do. And, you know, it, it doesn't make you any less of a Christian to be scared or to, or to be even, what's the word, to, to be frightened. But the only way for you to be a, a failure, to fail as a Christian, is to 
stand still. You weren't made to stand still. You weren't made to be in a depression. You weren't made not to want to go out. You weren't made to not to want to leave your house. You weren't made to not want to go to church. You weren't made to not to want to forgive. You weren't made to not want to love. You weren't made to be in a standstill. You were made to keep pressing on, to be pressing forward. That's what Jesus did. He 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 was scared. But he said, God, I'm going to do your will. And he didn't fight. He didn't fight. He, when, when they came for him, he didn't fight. When they were beating him, he didn't fight. When he was being insulted, when he was being beaten, he didn't fight. He took it. But I also want you to know that along with the, with the big challenge, and with your big challenge and with Jesus' big challenge also came a great blessing. And now he has the power over everything. And he did it through the cross. And I don't know what you're going through. But I'm telling you that God is not going to allow anything bad to come into your life to hurt you. He's not going to let anything bad to come into your life to to ruin you those are not God's plans for your life God's plans for your life are good and they're not for bad and what you need to do right now is just shake yourself off and just keep fighting just keep just keep marching forward some days you're gonna run some days you're just gonna take small little steps some days you're gonna be on your knees and you're just gonna be crawling but whatever you do don't stand still the enemy wants you to stand still but you need to you need to you need to shake yourself off dust yourself off and keep on going and almost 2,000 years ago, today, Jesus hung up on that cross. And he hung on there. Yes, so you can be happy. Yes, I agree. So you can succeed and you, and you can have a good life. But don't forget, he came for salvation, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. His purpose was for you to be saved. And um, don't lose that. Don't let a problem detour you from seeking God. You know, if your husband or your wife left you and um, you feel like that you just can't go on you feel that life is horrible um, I'm telling you don't don't even let that detour you because uh, you're gonna have your eye on your wife or on your husband and you're gonna take off your eye on God and yes God wants marriages to be united and God doesn't like divorce and, and, and all that but God came first and foremost for your salvation. So don't lose it. You know, no man, no woman, no problem, um, no material thing is worth losing your salvation. And um, I just encourage you today, if you, if you have strayed from, from the Lord, I encourage you just to seek Him and to ask Him to forgive you. And uh, he will. And he's a good God. And he's a forgiving God. And he doesn't give us what we deserve. But from love and grace, he gives us our portion. Uh, when the prodigal son, he left and he took all that was his because he had to go live his life. Um, the father was waiting for him with open arms. And he didn't say, go live in with the maid's quarters or oh, go live over there with the servants. But he received him just as he was. And he received him with hugs. He received him with a ring and with a robe. And he said, my son, I've been waiting for you. And God's been waiting for you. If you've, been, if you've strayed 
from the Lord. This is your time today. When I was at church today, giving a similar um, mini sermon, devotional, if you will. And uh, the Lord was saying, new beginnings. This is going to be a new beginning, a new beginning for you. For those of you that are continuing the Lord, I believe this will be a new be beginning for you as well. This is the time to be bold, bold for Jesus, bold to speak his truth, bold to minister to others and to and, and to get them get the and get them contag uh, be contagious for God, but also to it's also the time to be bold for goals and for dreams. How are we going to testify how great God is? But we're going to testify by the great things that He's doing in our lives. But God will only do things for those who are willing to. If I'm not willing to preach the Word of God, God's not going to force me. But God will use my life if I say, here I am, God, use me. And that's the same way that He's going to use you. What, what dream has God put inside your heart what 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 thoughts has God put inside your heart well God doesn't want you just to think about it God wants you to start making a move and I believe today in the name of Jesus that whatever God has put into your heart if you if he already did his part now if you will do your part you're gonna see great things happen if you've been waiting for years for for a breakthrough and the breakthrough never came is because you never got up from that seat you were expecting that breakthrough to come and and get you up but the breakthroughs not gonna come get you up you need to get up the Lord told Joshua he said I'm about to give you your land but he, he didn't he it wasn't like Dorothy click your heels and and you're there in promised land no the Lord said you're gonna pass some giants you're gonna pass some people you're gonna have to walk and that's what you're gonna do and I know that you're gonna do great things so today just remember that even though you're going through a hard time that there's a blessing coming and Jesus paid the price for our salvation but he also came to give us an abundant life and to help us live happy and productive lives so today I just want to pray with you today and dear Lord I just lift up father whoever is listening to this devotional right now God and I just ask that you surround him with your love and that your Holy Spirit Father just touch them in a mighty way right now and I ask you God that that to help us Father it be faithful to you and, and to help us live a life Father that is worthy of the sacrifice that Jesus Father paid in that cross in the cross for us God and I ask you Lord that you help us be brave and you, you help us be bold for you god and i also ask god that you just bring about that boldness in in each and every one of us god and that those dreams and that those visions father that you've given us god that we be able to make them come to pass and that we be able to get up god from our seats and start doing your work god and all that is going to bring glory and honor to your name so in the name of jesus father i just bless every single one of them and i just call them blessed and they are the head and they will not be the tail because you have called them to be the head god and they're up and they will never be down god because that's what you wanted for them and we just thank you for jesus and we thank you for the cross and we thank you god for your word today that shows us god that it's okay to be human lord that it's okay to hurt and it's okay to be sad and it's okay to be confused sometimes but we shouldn't stay there god that we should always run to you and seek you god and be comforted father that whatever that we're going through your word promises it promises us so that if we love you it's going to help us for our good god and we just thank you right now in jesus mighty name amen I hope you were encouraged um, by this mini devotional or this devotional and I if you have any questions 
any comments you would like to make um, feel free to to make them I can be reached at um, through Facebook I'll try to see if I can put a link somewhere pretty new at this so I hope you enjoy yourself have an awesome Easter weekend and God bless you